Hello doers, my name is Ignacio, and welcome back for another great tutorial. So today we're actually talking about subassembly, which is when we manufacture a component before using it to manufacture another product. You see, not every product we manufacture is made with pre-made components that are bought ready to use. Sometimes we have to get into the nitty gritty and manufacture products components ourselves. So for example, let's take a look at our wheelie table product. Unsurprisingly, it's a table with wheels. So to manufacture this table, we need to attach our four wheelie legs to a tabletop. However, before the legs can be attached, we have to assemble them as well by adding our wheel component to the bottom of our leg component. That means that from start to finish, manufacturing our table requires not one, but two manufacturing orders or MOs. Now I could just manufacture a bunch of the wheelie legs ahead of time. You know, they're ready whenever we want to build a table. However, I'd rather manufacture four legs each time I need them for a table. And luckily, Odo allows me to do just that by automatically creating an MO for our four wheelie legs each time an MO for the table is confirmed. So let's manufacture one unit of our wheelie table now, just so I can show you how all of this works. Okay, so before we create an MO, we need to make sure that our wheelie table product and all of its components are correctly configured. So in order for us to do that, we actually want to open up our manufacturing application, and we're going to select the word products and products, obviously. So once that we're here, we want to select our wheelie table. So let's find that at the bottom over here. Now from the inventory tab that I've now opened up over here, you can actually see that I've enabled the manufacturer route. Now let's actually take a look at the table's bombs by clicking on our bill of material smart button up at the top as well. And we're going to select it in there. Great. So we're there. So if I click inside of the operations tab, you can actually see that this product requires one operation at our assembly station. And that happens to be attaching the leg to the tabletop. So on the components tab over here, well, that requires two different components, four of the wheelie legs, as you can tell by the quantity, and then one of the tabletops. So we purchased the tabletop from a vendor and already have a bunch in stock. So we don't have to worry about manufacturing that. We will need to manufacture the wheelie leg, however. So let's open up X products so that we could take a look at that as well. And if we want to jump to it, we can actually just click on this little internal link arrow right there. I love that about Odoo. Now instead of here, let's go to inventory. Now inside of here, you can see that I've selected the replenish on order MTO route, as well as the manufacturer routes. The MTO route creates a replenishment order every time there's a need for the component. Since the manufacturer route is selected as well, it creates an MO. Now I want to take a look at this bomb as well for the wheelie leg. So let's go in there as well and go into our bill of materials, wheelie leg. Great. So here we can actually see that each wheelie leg requires one table leg and then one wheel as well. Much like the tabletop, we purchased both of these components, but if we wanted to manufacture them, I could open the product pages and configure them the same way that I've configured the wheelie leg. So if I did that, each MO for the wheelie leg would also create an MO for each component. So if we go over here to our operations tab, as you can tell, we also have one operation listed for the assembly workstation. All right, since we have both of the wheelie leg components in stock, we're actually all ready to manufacture our table, so let's go do that. So I am actually going to start by creating an MO for one unit of the wheelie table. So to do that, we click on the word operations and then manufacturing orders. And then we want to select the word new. You've done this dance with me a lot. So let's select our wheelie table as our product that we're going to be manufacturing and then confirm this real quick. Great. So once that I do that, a few things happen. First, the forecast section over here on our components tab, as you can tell, it tells us something. It displays today's date for the wheelie leg component as well. This is because we don't have the legs available yet, but Ode recognizes that we should be finishing manufacturing for them today. How do we go about manufacturing them? Well, you may have also noticed the child MO smart button happens to appear right there. Hmm, what does that do? So since we enabled the MTO route on our wheelie leg component, an MO was created automatically to fulfill our need for it. As such, Odo considers that MO the child of this source MO. So we can actually access it by clicking on the child MO button. Let's click into that. So the child MO is linked back to its parents by this source MO smart button that we have now here. And down on the components tab, wouldn't you notice that we can see that both the components we need are available as we can tell from our forecast. All right, we're now ready to begin manufacturing our wheelie table. But first, let me show you how planning works for MOs that use sub assemblies. We actually want to make sure that the MOs are planned in the correct order so that we won't start working on our wheelie table MO before we've actually manufactured the wheelie legs. So to do so, we're actually going to head back to the manufacturing orders. We have the breadcrumbs, which are Wonder Bread today. We're going to select them both and select plan. 
And then once we do that, we're going to actually select the planning drop down from the top. And then we're going to select planning by production. And on this page, I'm going to click on the time period drop down that we have over here. And I'm going to select the day option. And would you look at that, that's going to give me more detail about how our MOs have been planned. So we're actually going to select the first one that's set to open, which happens to be our attach wheel component right there. This is because Odoo recognizes that the child MO must be completed before the parent MO. Do you notice that the time listed in the stop date field on the popover window for the child activity? It actually gives us something there. Well, if I click away and then I click on the parent MO, you'll notice something. The start date happens to be the exact same time. This is because Odoo knows that once the child MO is completed, all components will be available for the parent MO, so it schedules it to begin immediately after. Now, all we have to do is complete the child MO, and then we'll be ready to start work on the parent MO. At that point, we'll have manufactured one unit of our wheelie table. That's pretty cool, right? So, for today's example, we use a manufactured product that requires another manufactured product as its components. However, the really cool thing about subassembly products in Odoo is that they can have as many levels as you want. For example, you can manufacture a bike spoke, which is then used to make a bike rim, which is then used to make a bike wheel, which is finally used to produce a full bike. And as you can see, Odoo simplifies the production of even the most complicated multi-step manufacturing workflows. And that's the best part of it. Well, that's it for today, folks. You now know how to manufacture products using sub-assemblies. I'm going to see you next time. Go grab a snack.